why in this video we're going to be calibrating our crane scale here. This is an SL924. Uh, we're going to be using a 50 pound weight right there. And so to start off, you're going to go ahead and turn it on, pressing the on and off button. It will show the max capacity right there, 500 pounds, and then the version of software it's on. Uh, for this, so for calibration, what you're going to want to do is you want to press second, twice, one more time, and it's going to ask for a passcode. The passcode on here is zero, seven, six, five. Perfect. And then you're going to want to press the lock button. Here it's asking for the units. You can change the units by pushing your up arrow, kg or pounds. You're gonna press the lock button to save that. Here uh, for these crane scales, we have uh, presets as far as max capacity and accuracy. Each, each max capacity has two different accuracies it can do. So uh, for this instance, right now it's set to 500 and uh, 500 max capacity and the increments that it can count in is 0.1 and 0.2. And for all the other ones, um, like I said, it changes. So this is 600 pounds, 1,000, uh, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 200, and then 500 again. So for this crane scale, this crane scale is actually rated for only 3,000 pounds. So we can change it to 3,000 right now. Perfect. And then once we select what we want, we'll go ahead and press the lock button. Right now it says cal on. We're gonna go ahead and press the lock button one more time. Load zero, load zero is when it takes its zero calibration reading. This is with uh, nothing on the scale. You wanna make sure there's nothing uh, on it as far as weight. You're gonna press the lock button. So you wanna make sure that your stable light's on right here. And that's how you know the, the weight on your scale is stable and it's not moving. Once you have that light on, you're gonna press and hold the lock button. It'll save it. And then it'll show you zero. You're gonna press the lock button again. Load one, it's gonna ask for the weight that we're gonna be using. We're gonna change this to 50. Or whatever weight that you're gonna be using to calibrate, you're gonna enter it here. Once you have it entered, you're gonna press the lock button. And then you're gonna load your scale. So for this, we're gonna load 50 pounds on it. The weight might be slightly inaccurate because of the chain, but let's take a look and see what we get. So once the, the weight is hanging from the scale, you're good to go. So right now, you have 50 on the screen and you have 50 hanging, perfect. Once you have your stable light on again, pay attention to your stable light, it's very important because the weight is moving while during calibration, it won't be good. So you got your stable light, you're gonna press the lock button. You're gonna press and hold it. And it should beep and it's say end. You're gonna press it one more time to get back to weighing mode. And it shows 50. Um, like I said before, it has two sets of accuracies. You're gonna press the second button, then the lock button. And you'll see the accuracies it has. So right now it's set to one pound and the other option would be half a pound. So if you wanted to set the half a pound, you'd press your lock button and select it, and then cycle through the rest of your settings. All these settings and meanings are in your manual. And you got 50 and that shows within half a pound. If you do have any questions, give us a call at Celaton Scales or check out our website, cellophonescales.com. Thank you very much.